Now, ladies and gentlemen, there's a fireside chat on COVID-19 led disruptions in packaging and Amul's perspective. I would like to invite our SOD Managing Director, Gujarat Cooperative Milk Marketing Federation Limited, Amul, and Mohammad Ujale, Senior Assistant Editor, ET Government. Please take the conversation ahead, Ujale. Over to you. Hello and very warm welcome to ET Retail Supply Chain and Packaging Summit 22. Uh, for this special fire chat discussion focused on Amul's perspective on COVID-19 led disruption in packaging industry, I'm joined by the Managing Director, Mr. R.S. Sodhi. Mr. Sodhi, thank you for joining us today. And let me begin by asking you, you are selling in over 1,000 cities and most of them would have gone through some form of lockdown over the last two years. Despite that, I was going through one of your interview and you said that you sold about 15% more compared to the normal time. So I would like to understand from you, how did you ensure the continuity of supply chain for this? Because there are different players involved at different stages. Yeah, uh, Ujalaji, thank you very much for uh, inviting with this uh, uh, conference on uh, supply chain and packaging. Well, you see, during this COVID last two years, one thing you must have noticed right from day one, 24th of March, 2020, milk was exempted category. And we were assured that your supply chain not, not be disrupted. So let me tell you, when you say milk or milk product supply chain, it is not the usual supply chain, but you industry people talk. It starts from the farmer's end, like in case of Amul, 3.6 million farmers, the supply chain starts from there. Then they pour milk into 18,600 village cooperative society. Then milk is transported by 10,000 milk tankers to the way around 280 dairies or chilling plant. And from there, milk and milk products are transported further with more than 5,000 trucks to the various locations all over India. And then to 10,000 distributors and 1 million retail outlets. So this is the supply chain exactly. And then other partners the supply chain are like your industry, like you mentioned, all our packaging material supplier. So what, what was the first thing is it we used on 24th or even 10 days before 24th, it, we, we came to the someday lockdown will be coming. So we started communicating everybody, farmers that what are the precautions they have to take, all that logistic partner, distributor, all our packaging metal suppliers, that milk will be exempted. So you please assure that you work through various media, personal, uh, I mean, emails, through social media, through personal webinar, and posters, danglers, everything. And I, I tell you, in case of packaging material, our, our packaging material supplies are all over India, Pune, Bombay, Delhi, Gujarat, everywhere. And naturally, we were told, but the local administration were not knowing, like in Pune, number of plants are there. So where, but we told our all packaging material suppliers that if you have got any problem to lock in of closer, please inform us. So as soon as we used to get the information, that local administration not allowing labor to come to their plant or trucks to come with the raw material. We used to talk to that directly to the collector there or SP there, that they are supplied to Amul and they are exempted. So one by one, you have to solve the problem. Even for our trucks, when they are moving on the road, constable may not be knowing that milk is exempted. Although we had written all our trucks, milk material of Amul, Amul, Amul. But I think, Communication played a big role. And also, uh, lockdown was there for the consumers, not for the farmers, not for the buffaloes and cows, and not for us. So everybody was working. Some people maybe work from home, but mostly people are on the ground after taking all the pictures up. So not as, and second is we got 17% more milk when small unorganized player, others like ice cream manufacturer, etc., they stopped collection of milk. So more milk started coming to the cooperatives like Amul or in Nandini or Punjab, every, all cooperatives got more milk. 
and naturally when you get more milk you have to process it and do your disposing of also so we were forced to collect more forced to transport and process more and dispose of and sell it more and i'm happy we got support from everybody uh, i think you are absolutely right and that also shows in your ambition of uh, you know touching around 62000 crore in the next financial year Uh, what you have been able to achieve in FY20, which was somewhere around fifty-three thousand crore. Now I'll go to the packaging part, which you mentioned, because packaging in overall has immense role on two fronts. One is to increase the life uh, shell of a product, also make it very affordable so that the, it could be adopted by masses. So I would like to understand for me what kind of packaging innovation that we can uh, do around the product, which can actually bring both of these things. if you could share based on your experience over the last many many years sir ujala ji i think the most important part of packaging especially in food is not only what you are mentioning right you see packaging provide tool of marketing access to a farmers produce if right. farmers are producing milk in a small village of mesana or kera district until that that milk is after process packed and sold in bombay delhi market the farmer is not going to get good price for their produce so first is packaging is providing very very organized way of marketing access so that farmers can get good produce and to achieve that pack what packaging should be the, first of all it should be able to provide its shelf life right and also all the logistic and other uh, transportation and other thing second most important it in india is a market of lower middle class and it has to be packaging one most important thing is it has to be affordable for the masses and second is you it has to be adopted a scale like in case of milk we are every day packing 30 million pouches of milk pouches 30 million every day and another uh, 10 million of curd and butter milk so 40 million packs are packed every day you can you have to go for technology and packaging middle which can take that much of scale and affordability right. and also the speed other is in food is most important i think it should be able to food grade i mean it should not be able to combine with food and in any way and it goes into the food and now in india it has to be no uh, recyclable it has to be recyclable also and also other important from marketing point of view it should be having good presentation or i'll say shelf through okay and also from consumer point of view it has to be very convenient to use convenient to open convenient to keep it in the refrigerator or outside and i think all these put together packaging is the most important innovation for providing organized way of marketing to the farmers for their produce and to the consumer affordable convenient food friendly way of buying food products and innovations are say every i mean case of you uh, uh, milk you know loose milk was there then it came yeah. in uh, glass bottles then it came in uh, uh, plastic pouches in tetra pack in tin all options you have got right absolutely absolutely uh, you mentioned about you know uh, using almost around 40 million uh, packaging stuff uh, uh, in a month or a year per day <laughs> Per day, okay, okay, all right. In a per day, and that brings uh, recycling as a very important component. And what we notice that uh, government has also uh, been uh, under the Plastic Waste Management uh, Amendment Act, which was brought in 2021. Earlier, it was not allowed, but it has allowed to recycle, um, you know, packaging for uh, food pro uh, food products. and there is some concern on two front one is uh, i was speaking to some of the polymer scientists and they say there are some chemical that can migrate if you have a very low quality uh, quality polyethylene being used for packaging 
and also uh, this recycling is a very informal sector in our country Mo almost around 60% uh, are uh, informally done so two point of view uh, of yours that i would like to have uh, your thoughts on one is uh, how actually we can uh, make it in a very formal way second the concern around uh, the uh, security and safety and food hazard how those could be addressed well uh, you are right uh, ujari ji is a very important point because one side uh, for uh, environment friendly we are saying how to recycle more and more plastic material to use it till now that plastic was not allowed anywhere it is coming in contact with food right you can use it for secondary packaging outside packaging like in a tray milk tetra pack is pack in uh, shrink uh, wrap or sector but not where food is coming and but in january 2022 you see earlier the plastic waste management allowed you can use it what you are mentioning but fssi and bis are not allowed it not today also no plastic even fssi or bis bis are not allowed to use recycled plastic in any ratio in the virgin material where contact is there except pet in pet now fssi is allowed that you can use pet recycled where it is coming in contact but they have defined a very long process expensive where you have to decontaminate you see before making you have to decontaminate the pet and then only you can use it so that it can become uh, food gradable but ojala ji usme one problem i know before india fss is allowed in other country it, it was allowed a lot of such recycled pet was being exported from india now india is so first of all looking to the requirement of indian industry we do not have facilities to decontaminate pet for it to be used in case of food grade right but most important thing which i i may be wrong you see see you had there is a law that you cannot use recycled plastic except pet where you are coming in case of food contact but nobody is checking it which is the body which will check it Right. fss i i know it checks only the contents packaging material nobody check whether it has got recycled plastic or not so it is up to the brand if amul brand is there so we are taking 100% care ki when we take any plastic material it is not having recycled i mean right. in case of amul 80% of plastic requirement like especially the milk pouches 100% we are using hardware 100% virgin plastic material like reliance so we know right. there is no charge or anything but if somebody is buying plastic film from my supplier how you know he has not used recycled granules because nobody Absolutely. government authority is checking but now it not only now they are allowed in case of pet they have made it mandatory to use 30% by 23 24 and 40% 24 25 it is right. it has been made mandatory also but if you make it mandatory you have to see you have got sufficient supplies also absolutely absolutely yeah. absolutely and your view is also very important since you are making it mandatory to be used you should have a mechanism or a system in place which can actually check uh, how it is being used yes, and yes. Uh, other thing that i would like to highlight on the as earlier i said the packaging and recycling uh, in our country is uh, primarily dominated by informal sector so yeah, do yeah, you yeah. see is a need to formalize the sector and also bring uh, bring high tech and uh, technology and tools uh, which can uh, possibly uh, give a newer kind of innovation in terms of production recycling processing and ultimately the end use well uh, jarad you are right it is basically informal or small people are involved but you also also to see this recycling section is uh, sector is also providing lot of jobs or livelihood to the small people right because right. i mean so so what is required is you require three four 
type of institutions to take care to make it more vulnerable. Firstly, you see, you have to induct or you have to educate local self uh, local uh, self government to make a household aware to segregate. This segregation has to happen at the right. household level, average, like in other countries. Then only plastic is separate, recycling is separate, and other thing is separate. Then you you need to organize small rag pickers of people who are collecting the this waste. So you have to make them. Uh, I mean, each city you can make a cooperative of these people. Right. So that they are not exploited by the recycle uh, people. So if the cooperative is form of these small uh, waste collectors or small people, and they can bargain what should be the price of their whatever uh, they are collecting. So one thing. Third is all uh, you need very high technology. That is what where you are mentioning high technology or innovation to re recycle these plastic or pet so that a part of it can be used for the food. And I think last is whatever money or whatever things are there, a big amount should be used to educate Indian citizen. What is the importance of segregation? What is the importance of recycling? What material you should use? What material you should not use? So general awareness need to be increased. Absolutely. Uh, Mr. Sodhi, thank you so much for your time. You spoke quite well as to how during the pandemic, uh, Amul's manages the dis disruption and also your views on the, how the uh, uh, shelf life of the product could be improved and how technology can come in between. Also your views around the recycling of the product and why we need to have a better assessment and uh, a better assessment as well as a body which can actually look into it and also how we can formalize the recycling sector in a more better way so that some of the recycling product could be used for the food sector. Thank you so much for your time, sir. Thank you, Jaraji. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Sodi and Ujale for such a detailed and insightful conversation. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we'll move to the next session. Stay tuned and keep tweeting using the hashtag ETRetailSCS.